Hey guys, it's Brother Nature here, and uh, I just want to show you my SKS. I've done a few things to it, um, so just kind of wanted to share it with you guys, see see if I could get any feedback from you, what you guys thought about it, um, maybe what I should do to it, things like that. Um, when I bought the gun, it had this folding stock on it. I've seen it quite a bit on videos and and stuff. Um, it's pretty generic, I guess. I didn't really like it. It wasn't didn't seem very durable to me. Um, so I wanted to get something else. Um, seen a lot of things, a lot of good things about Tapco, and uh, that's what I decided to go with. So this is this is what I got. I got the Intrafuse Tapco Intrafuse. It's got the six position collapsible stock so just about anybody can uh, can shoot it um, as you see right here in the pistol grip it's got a compartment which is pretty nice I don't have anything in there right now um, the OD green I really like the OD green I think it looks sweet with all the black um, rails and the black mag and the black trigger housing and a black dust cover. I, I really like the way the black and, and the OD green just you know kind of accent each other. Um, I'm gonna put a bipod on there. I chose not to do the bayonet. Some people have the you know they'll like the bayonet with the tapco but I thought um, getting the one with the bottom rail would would be more beneficial and and would help with accuracy because uh, I'm I'm I have purchased the foregrip. I'm just waiting on it. Um, got that from Cheaper Than Dirt. Same place I got my mags. Uh, I love these Tapco mags, man. I, I really do. I like them a lot. Um, this is what came with my SKS when I first purchased it. it was You know, it's cool. 30 rounds. That's about the only cool thing about it. Um, it will work. I, I don't know why I thought this. I thought with the Tapco stocks you could only use the Tapco mags. Obviously that's not the case, because um, this will work. I haven't tested it, uh, I'm assuming it works, but um, it does fit. You know, it's cool because it's 30 rounds, but like I said, it will, it will, it will work, but it will jam. And uh, I can't say that about the Tapco mags so far. Um, got some PMC ammo the other day um, it'd be nice for some feedback actually what do you guys think about the Tula ammo the steel the steel casing stuff some people say to steer clear of it some people say it's an SKS you know it's a durable gun it, it can it can withhold some abuse um, so I really would like some actual feedback on that so this isn't so much as an informational video um, for you guys as it maybe is for, for myself. So the 30 rounds will work. So we got that out of the way. Um, oh, as you see, my bolt's closed. See that? And uh, even though my bolt's closed, ah, even though my bolt's closed, this mag will go ahead and Slide right in there, so that's cool. Um, maybe I should have done that earlier. A lot of you guys do the whole make sure it's empty, and you know, I mean, if it's not empty and I shoot somebody on accident, it's not going to be any of you. So um, don't have to worry about that, anyways, via webcam. Now, something I did want to show you guys is this sweet new red dot I got. You see that? Maybe get you a little up close there. See if I can turn it on. Maybe you guys can see something. Let's get the biggest one I got on here. Maybe you can see it.
there it is. So right here on the back, you can switch the reticles from the dot. To the uh, dot with the circle around it. Yeah, how educated does that statement sound? And then there's the green. It's pretty cool. Uh, it switches from 2.5 to 5 MOA. Um, so it should be pretty pretty accurate. I haven't used it yet. Um, I really haven't read a whole lot about it either. So. Maybe some information on that, you know, drop a comment or something, tell me what you think about those, what you've heard about them. Any uh, first-hand experience would be great to hear about on the, uh, the True Glow. And even better would be somebody that has this exact setup. Uh, if you have the SKS with the True Glow. Um, so yeah, this, is, this isn't your $30 run-of-the-mill red dot, and it's not your $500 EOTech either find sort of a common ground um, there so I paid 100, 105 bucks for it for the true glow like I say it does have the two reticles it does have the red and the red and green um, and and it does have the 2.5 MOA center dot so uh, the center dot is what that what that's called the center dot and the uh, just the dot so you got the 2.5 and the 5 in both the dot and the center dot. Uh, it came with a little cleaning cloth here so I can keep it nice and clean and when I put it away. So that's nice. Um, yeah, something I wanted to share though was I only have 500 bucks into this gun. That's all I got. It's 500 bucks into this gun, including the initial purchase. And I got a pretty sweet setup, you know. That's pretty sweet. Once I get that foregrip, I should get that in a couple of days. Once I get that foregrip, it's gonna be pretty, pretty legit. Um, Williams Williams Firesight is is also a purchase that I'm waiting on. Uh, it'll be a nice nice iron sight. You know, I have the red dot, but it might be nice to shoot without it every now and then, just uh, just for fun. I'm probably not gonna hunt with with uh, the Williams. But it's got the fiber optic in the front. It's got the peep sight in the back. It's pretty cool. I think 40 bucks is what I what I paid for that. I'm waiting on it. Got it from Amazon. They said it ships in one to three weeks. So I might be waiting a while for that. Four grip should be here uh, in two days. Delivery was the 22nd. I want to get um. I want to get the Tapco. The Tapco sling. I think that would be pretty cool. The black with with all the black accents. I think that would look pretty cool. But uh so I don't know. I, I'm rambling now. This is my gun. This is my new red dot. I really like it. I really I really think that's a nice addition to the gun. Easy to install, easy to remove. Um so like I said, if you want to use the iron sights, it's not a tough thing to do. I don't think I'm gonna be able to shoot under the iron sight I can see the front sight so you know who knows I don't know where that peep sights gonna be but there is a chance that I could use it I don't know I will I will definitely post a video on that um, to let you know that won't be for a while I'm assuming because it'll probably take a good two weeks or so to get it but so yeah, I'm Brother Nature. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. Let's talk. No, I'm just playing. Um, Kara, you got your gun over there? Yeah. Come here. Show these guys your gun. She saw me messing with my gun, and she went and grabbed hers. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Come over here. Come over here. Yeah. Come here, baby. Yeah. Show them your gun. <laughs> hold it, hold it right. Hold it like you're gonna shoot it. Shoot it, shoot the gun. Point it at him. Point it at him. Yeah, see? 
Hold it up. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We got that at a gun show. <laughs> pretty cool. It doesn't make noise anymore. Anyway, she she thought she would uh, get her gun out too. So maybe we should do a review on this thing. What do you have to say about this gun, Kara? It's a gun. It's a gun. You heard it. It's a gun. Hey guys, leave a comment and uh, let me know what you think about the video. Uh, let me know what you think about the the uh, aftermarket stuff I've put on the SKS and and what you what you might do next. So uh, just like the video, comment on it, share it with your friends, um, show me some support. So once again, this is Brother Nature. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Say bye, Kara. Bye.